Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples, and today I have this terrific 2008 Volkswagen EOS 2.0T Comfort. Uh, it's a folding hardtop convertible, and it is the goddess of dawn. Well, that is what EOS is, the Greek mythological lady who rules the morning. She's supposed to have some sort of rosy fingers. I don't even want to know what that means. Uh, you know, she also has a brother and sister who rule the day and the night, but uh, Eos is stuck in the middle. Uh, the nice thing about this car is it is gorgeous, very, very attractive, triple black, six-speed manual, uh, 200 horsepower, and of course the folding hardtop convertible. It's a local one-owner trade-in been driven here in Naples, Florida, very nicely maintained and garage kept. It's in very good condition all around, extremely clean, and very rare to find one in this color combination with a six-speed manual gearbox. You can see the lines of the car are terrific, uh, absolutely, uh, you know, I mean, it's not going to win any beauty contests, but it is cute as a bug, very, very fun to go down the road in, and uh, just a, a very striking car, particularly in this color. It's sort of uh, you know, really gender neutralizes the car. You can, uh, you know, you can't say it's a girl car, you can't say it's a guy car. It's just, you know, I don't know, one of our new gender fluid cars. Uh, you can see the nice big front grille, uh, very attractive swept headlights. You've got fog lights in the bottom. Uh, of course, we've got a muggy floor in the morning. So look at my windshield there, how annoying. i tell you what we're gonna do. Let me put the top down for you so you can see it. Actually, there I go again. Before I do that, I'll show you the trunk without the top down. So it is enormous. You just lift this guy here, poke him into those slots, and look at that. You've got a nice big area there to stick anything you need. In that styrofoam box is your uh, spare tire kit, I believe. Uh, very, very proper, everything lovely, and uh, that's how a trunk should be. Of course, on these folding hardtop convertibles, they do get uh, they do get pretty big. I also love the opening mechanism. I think that's just cool as hell. It gives you a place to pull from and just looks neat to boot. All right, let's run this top down. What a stunning mechanism this is. It really is the key feature of the car. Uh, you kind of take this U-shaped uh, handle here, pull it the wrong way, <laughs> then you put it the right way. Down goes the windows. In the back, that uh, rear piece comes up. And uh, I tell you what, let me wander out right now, mid top removal amongst the binging so you can see how it goes. Look at that big, crazy mechanism. Absolutely beautiful to watch. It's like a ballet and uh, very reliable as well. Uh, one of the things that's neat, I'm gonna go back down again as well. Go the other way. If you decide you don't want the whole top open, you can just have this sunroof part going and it is enormous, runs the entire length of the car. So quite a nice feature on, uh, on this VW top, absolutely beautifully designed. So there it goes into the trunk. You can see our side panels there are gonna fold in neatly and robotically. Down it all goes. And then if you want, you can push your sunscreen open there, kind of a neat feature. That'll keep the uh, keep the wind out of your hair. If you're dry, well, not really. Maybe it keeps the noise down a little. All that binging I can do without. I'm gonna pull that key. All right, so there you can see the windscreen is deployed in the uh, rear. That can, of course, be removed, folded up, and put in the trunk, and then you can stuff a couple people back there. It actually has a very nice-sized back seat. Uh, you could fit two adults back there without much crying, which is nice. Uh, inside, you can see the very attractive seats. This thing has been so beautifully kept. Uh, look at the, you know, th this could pass for a 20,000 mile car. It's got a power driver's seat, a uh, very nice feature. It's got that guy there to move it forward and back to get into the rear. You can see a lovely designed dashboard. You know, VW really has its act together, <clears throat> at least in terms of their fit and finish and design and build quality. Maybe not the emissions so much. Uh, you can see the uh, power windows and locks. Uh, beautiful leather steering wheel. Here's your headlamps. There's that great uh, smooth shift and six-speed manual. And uh, just lovely, lovely. I'll look under the hood. There's fresh Pirellis on there. They didn't go on that long ago. Bet whoever traded it is ticked off. Actually, I know who traded it. They didn't say it, but yeah, they probably are. Anyway, there it is. The two-liter 
turbocharged, 200 horsepower, very smooth running four cylinder. This is an engine that's shown its way into, you know, tons of Volkswagens and Audis, and it's fantastic in whichever one it's in. Very fun to drive, very smooth shifting, lots of pep, and you can see everything is really nice under the hood. All right. I show you the trunk with uh, the top down? I don't know if I did, let's do that. So you can see that you still have nice access to your cargo there. Uh, you know, for a folding hardtop, it's terrific. Uh, you do the week shopping, go to Costco, and eh, maybe not the paper towels, but a lot of stuff, get whatever you need. Three pedals. All right, let's fire this thing up. All right, so you've got our Volkswagen information system with instant fuel economy, which is of course terrific in this car. Very, very uh, good on gas. Let's get our seatbelt on. All right, so again, this lovely, nice steering wheel, beautiful to grip. Uh, here you've got your wiper controls with variations. Over here you've got your cruise and headlamp control. Uh, the, this is, you know, headlights on and off, dimmer, pull for fogs, very nice. Over here you've got uh, your AM FM CD, also satellite radio, nice feature, look at that. Uh, here's your automatic climate control, heated seats. Down here you've got a 12 volt outlet and a little cubby hole. This turns off the electronic stability program, that's trash control, no reason to do that, just leave it on. There's that great six speed manual gearbox, nice cup holders. It's a glove box and there's some books. So uh, you can see a very, very well made, nice fit and finish, everything just very proper. And away we go. Let's get a little bit of air conditioning going. Nice. All right, there's that 2.0T going. I absolutely love driving that engine with the six-speed manual. It is so responsive. It just absolutely screams up through the rev band. The turbo kicks in nice and smooth. And it just is lovely to operate. You know, there's something so sporty and nice about a six-speed manual gearbox. Uh, Everybody is always going to these, you know, shiftable automatics with their super high technology launch control, triple clutching, flux capacitor stuff. And, you know, that's fine and it's nice and it's the future. But there is something lovely about just shifting a six-speed manual gearbox with a uh, an actual genuine foot clutch, let me tell you. Anyway, there it is. You can see the car drives great. Again, this is a one owner, uh, you know, local VW trade, dealer maintained since new, everything extremely proper. Uh, this is a great car uh, and it's gonna be priced right. You won't believe what you, can, uh, what you can own this thing for. So if you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look, we appreciate it. We'll see what the next one. Oh, quick thing. You see there on the dash, it says DRL. Uh, I believe that stands for uh, diesel revenue loss. No, probably not. I think that's daytime running lights. But uh, either way, it stands for something. Uh, thanks again. Take it easy. See you with the next one. Take care.